Hello everyone, welcome to Nimri's Bookshelf. Welcome to January's TBR Clue. Uh, this is where we are starting a new kind of style. I have filmed a video with how we play the game now. So you can go check that one out if you are interested in the new uh, little tweaks I've done, but it's very much the same game. So stick with me. Um, because December was kind of a crapshoot, I'm not gonna go over it. Uh, to suffice it to say, I did read some things, but I didn't read much, and I'm happy with what I read. So let's get into what we're playing next time. As I mentioned in the other video, we'll be using our cards as our prompts, so let's get into that. First prompt is the wrench. For the lounge, it's the study. Dining room has the dagger. Mr. Green for the... Cons for the kitchen, the ballroom in the ballroom, the library for the conservatory, Mrs. Peacock in the billiards room, the conservatory in the library, and finally the candlestick in the study. So for the first room we got the wrench and for the wrench I'm going to be going with my book club book for January. I don't think I'm going to get to it before that point which kind of throws a wrench in my plans. So we'll be doing The Woo Woo here, which is by Lindsay Wong. This one is um, her memoir about mental health, her immigrant journey, her family, and how they view mental health. Um, it sounds, it was interesting when I read it a few years ago, and I'm excited to reread it. I just don't think I will get to it before that time. So this is for The Wrench. In the lounge, we got the study, and for that, I will be doing the Buzzwordathon book that I have coming to the library currently, and it is Flowers and Their Meanings by Karen Azule. This one um, is just like, it's like roses mean different things and what they mean. So that's this book, and I'm actually really excited. I love learning about flowers and what they mean, and it's gonna be something of a study for me, and I'm really interested in that. One thing I am trying to do this year with Buzzwordathon books is change up what I'm reading, put something new and different on my plate. Something that would be different than my normal shelves. So I'm interested to pick this one up from the library and see what I can learn about flowers and their names and what they mean and origins and whatever else. I'm excited. For the dagger, I have another uh, library book that hopefully will come to me in time. I'm not sure if it will or not. Um, it's one of those that's like it's technically being ordered right now so we'll see if I get it in January or not but I am like first of the list so we'll see. I'll be reading Blood on Their Hands by Mandy Matei. This one uh, is about the Murdaugh Mysteries which I watched a documentary on Netflix the first season of it. I still need to watch the second season um, but blood comes out when you stab somebody so we're gonna go with that. Um, I also am really interested. It's a true crime book about that family and the situation. Um, the Murdaugh, I think it was called The Murdaugh Murders on, on Netflix. Anyways, fascinating story. I'm excited to pick up uh, this book about it and see what it says about the whole situation and any other information that has come to light. For Mr. Green, I'm going with my Agatha Christie, well one of my Agatha Christie's, because uh, the Reed Christie 2024 were like they announced their prompts on January 1st, which is so annoying to me because I'm a planner and I want to know. Um, Anyways, so I'm going to be going with the next book chronologically, or not chronologically, but published, because I'm going to try doing books reading in that route. So I just finished Mysterious Affair at Styles in December uh, as my first reread, and the next one obviously is Murder on the Links. Um, am I right about that? I actually think I'm wrong. Maybe it's The Secret Adversary. I, I don't know. One second. Well, I was wrong. It is A Secret Adversary. That doesn't work. I'm gonna find a different book for Mr. Green now. All right, so I have found another book, but I will be reading The Secret Adversary as um, a Christie read, reread or my publication order. So that will be on my TBR. Uh, but officially for Mr. Green, I will be doing Rebecca. This is a very green edition. I once listened to an audio drama of Rebecca. I have never read Rebecca, but I've always said I've kind of read Rebecca and I know I'm lying. So I need to uh, read it for myself. Um, so yeah, this edition is one that I picked up and it is very beautiful. It has a string and everything, um, but I'm excited to pick up Rebecca. Hopefully I can get to it this month and we'll see. Um, 
I really enjoyed listening to the radio drama, but I need to actually read the book. You know what I mean? So this will be for Mr. Green. Um, if you don't know what Rebecca's about, um, it's about this unnamed protagonist who meets her husband, she marries him, she goes to his home, and things aren't quite right. Um, and his former wife, his who's passed away, Rebecca, kind of haunts her. So it's really good. I'm excited to pick this up again. I think it's literally been like four or five years since I read or listened to the audiobook, so I'm going to be excited to pick this up again. For the ballroom, uh, which was in the ballroom, <laughs> I'm going to be putting in a new purchase, which is called Two to Tango by Kathleen Fuller. I have read three books in the series and really loved them. And then I went to the bookstore for Boxing Day sales uh, just to see, and they had this one. And I was like, I didn't know there was another book in that series. So I had to pick it up. Um, so this one follows Olivia who is a head librarian. She likes spending time with her Aunt B and her nutty group of friends. Um, but when her best friend's older brother runs into her with movies, it's that love at first sight or whatever. It's uh, it's her second chance or whatever it is. So I'm excited to pick this one up and uh, pick this up for the ballroom because tango is definitely a word for the ballroom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I really love the other couple books in the series. So I was very surprised and very happy to find another one. For the library, I'm gonna be pulling a library book. Um, this is a book that I have had out for three months now, two months now, and it's not gonna be return renewed again. So I have to finish it by January 16th. This one is In the Shadow of the Empress by Nancy Goldstein or Goldstone. This one is about, um, so I think it's about Mary Marie Antoinette's mother, Marie Theresa and all of her daughters. So I'm thinking it'll be really interesting and uh, cool to see a bit of history that I haven't read a lot about uh, or learned a lot about. So yeah, it's a bit of a bigger one, but I'm excited to pick this one up. And now I have a deadline. I actually need to do it. For the prompt of Mrs. Peacock, I actually have an arc, which is called The Ark and the Dove, which is by Jill Eileen Smith. And this one is, I think, about Noah's, Noah's like the event of Son of Noah's Ark and his wife, I believe. Maybe it's his daughter-in-law. I don't know. I'm excited. Um, I've been really loving biblical fiction. I've loved it for a while, but it's nice to have it pop up in my TBR, and especially since it's coming out in February. I want to read it in January. So I'm trying to keep on top of my uh, goals here, and we'll see what happens. I also have one more arc that I do need to read, and it is called The Lost World of Prophecy, and that one also comes out in February. It's about prophecy in the Bible and how it's interpreted, I think. Um, it's kind of think a, a how-to guide to learn to prophecy or study prophecy. So that's interesting, um, but that is onto my TBR, although not in TBR Clue. For the conservatory, I have uh, The Rising Man, or A Rising Man. I am buddy reading this with Berna and Nikki. We're starting a new series. This is by a bit, I'm gonna butcher that, sorry. Um, so this one is, a mystery set in India in 1919. Now, we have read the Harry Hole series together. We still have one more book left to read. I think we're reading that in this upcoming year. But this one um, will be starting in January. I am very excited to try a new series and we always love budding reading together. So it's awesome to find something new now that we're almost done Harry Hole. So A Rising Man, I don't know really, I don't really know anything and I don't want to. I'm just excited to go into it pretty blind and have fun with uh, Berna and Nikki. For the candlestick, I am choosing one that's a little different. Uh, this is a book that will lighten my TBR load. Uh, I'm using that word very intentionally. This is Memory Lane by, Bec by Becky Wade. This is an arc I have and I did not get to it in time. And I just feel like having a physical book will help me. So I got this to the library and this is about a man who has amnesia. He's rescued by this woman and she doesn't know what to do with him, but he's clearly a very wealthy man. Um, and it's all about that. This is called the Son of Scandal series. And I don't know, I was kind of enjoying it, but I was also not really th thoroughly invested. So I'm gonna be trying this one out again. I do need to read this one or read something like this for my book club. We have a theme this month or in February of romance books. So hopefully this can be my romance that I read for my February book club meeting. So uh, we'll see if I can finish it off, which I really hope I can. It would really lighten the load on my TBR and also my currently reading pile because that is very annoying to look at and see Memory Lane is still on my currently reading list, which I have not been picking up in a long time. So that is on my uh, TBR clue officially. 
So as of this point, I have not made my author jar and I do want to do that, but I will be pulling one classic off my shelves that I have not read um, this author's work before, but I really want to. And I also want to just like say, I've read this book to be perfectly honest. And that's Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. I've heard interesting things. I've heard bad things. I've heard crazy things. Um, and I'm excited to pick it up for the sake of just saying I've read it because so many classics reference Robinson Crusoe. So I'll be picking this one up. I think I'll be doing a Timeless Tomes Classics review video about this one, as this one can be quite controversial, I think. Uh, so it'll be interesting to pick this one up for sure. And we'll see. I, I know it started a whole genre of books too, because I did read Swiss Family Robinson um, based on that. And I'm excited to pick this one up because at the very least, then I will have a reference point in cultural history or literature history. So I'm excited for that reason, even though I don't think I'll love it. So that's my last book on my TBR. So it's not a, a ginormous stack, although we have, I think, four books that aren't here. So yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> but I'm excited. This follows most of my goals, which are nonfiction, my author jar, arcs. It's fitting a lot of things, um, as well as the Buzzwordathon, and I will also have my Agatha Christie there somewhere from the Christie's prompts. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. It is going well so far. I think it'll be a great time. So this is what I'm reading. Please let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books before, what you think of them, if you didn't like them. I want to know. Also, if you would like to and you have not. Uh, subscribed yet please do and you can also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video i will see you next time for another uh, video probably my wrap up for december but i will see you then thank you so much for watching bye for now